Rika started back, um, we started around 2009. We wanted a custom shop that we could do motorcycle stuff in, and I was doing a lot of one-off builds while Casey was building the uh, CS1 Cafe Racer. It, we had inspiration from uh, guys overseas that were converting SR500s into Cafe Racers. Like, if we could make this kit 100% bolt-on and we could recreate this, because early on we were thinking about custom frames and whatnot, uh, and then we decided, well, look, if we can keep the majority of this bike, it's a solid, solid, solid platform. I think we really got something here. Let's see if we can manufacture this. And, and not only that, do, uh, so the average uh, person could build it in their garage. And it really kind of created Rika in itself. So that is what created Rika was that bike and being able to not just build a one-off for a person and then only one person has your bike. And now we can continue to manufacture these and hundreds if not thousands of people can now enjoy the same thing. Welcome to another episode of Jay Leno's Garage. Uh, we're going to talk about motorcycles today, uh, specifically doing motorcycles on a budget. You know, there's so many high-end bikes out there, the Confederate and all these bikes. Well, what about the guy who doesn't have much money but is a pretty good ranch and likes to work on his own bike? Well, this is a fantastic idea. This is Rika Motors. Well, let me, I'll have them explain it to you. Ryan, Casey, come on in here, you guys. Casey, Ryan. Hey, Jay. Nice to meet you. Okay. Go ahead. Explain. Yeah, what we've done here is we've converted the uh, Suzuki Savage, or now they call it the S40, into a cafe racer. You can do it all with your hand tools in your garage. We manufactured a kit so that you can do it with basic mechanical ability and skills. You can put this together in about 40 hours of work. You can find used donor S40s and Savages for 500 to 1,000 bucks on yeah, Craigslist. Now, when did the Savage come out? Early 80s? Yeah, 86, I think. Okay, mid 80s, 86. Yeah, and you see them around town. And you know, the great, the great thing about most of these Japanese motorcycles is they're 25, 30 years old, but they still run perfectly. Yep. But people have left them in the garage or they got the old styling and they're kind of clunky looking. Yeah. I mean, the, the Savage was okay. <laughs> it was a commuter bike, basically. Yeah. And basically. what you've done here is really taken a, com a commuter bike and turn it into a very cool cafe racer because it, it's a 650cc, right? Yeah, it's a great bike. I mean, it's still carbureted, but it's got modern CDI digital ignition. Right. So, you know, basically you get all the old thrill of the cafe racer, but with modern reliability, you know, something and still, they make these bikes new today. You can get a 2012 Suzuki S40. Right, S right. And what are you looking at? 35 horsepower? 40, yeah, like around there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, which is pretty good because most of the old I don't know, 500 BSAs and stuff in the Royal Enfields back in the 50s and 60s, they were about 35, 40 horsepower. It's torquey too, you know. Yeah, it's yeah. No, it's, and, and it's a great look. So tell us what the kit consists of. So some guy finds a bike in the penny saver pretty reasonably and uh, he takes it home. And what do you get? What, what does the kit consist of? Well, the main components of the kit are you, when you first purchase a kit from us, you need to send us your original gas tank and your rear hub. We section down the original tank to make it look as you see, as you see it here. And we right. notch out the fronts and we bring them to sit lower on the frame. We relace the rear wheel to an 18 inch wheel. And then uh, Casey can tell what else comes with the kit. Um, all the bodywork comes with the kit. We make, uh, we make all the fiberglass in house. So the cafe racer seat, the side covers, um, that comes with the kit. Um, the shocks, the muffler, like I said. Um, and all the fabricated parts like the uh, battery box and um, the rear set brackets, everything we manufacture locally and we make all these parts locally in house too. Yeah, these are all nicely done. Look at this, nicely machined pieces here. What does the kit cost? Uh, kits start at $2,600 for an unpainted kit, fully painted like you see here, $29.95. Yeah, so I know you can buy Savages for about $600, bucks, $800. Yeah. Bucks. So for under $4,000, you got kind of a cool bike and you're paying insurance and taxes based on your $600 motorcycle. Absolutely. Basically. And if you don't have the ability to build it yourself, Jay, like we have dealer networks that can put them together for you. Yeah, very Good guys cool. and dealers on our site you can find that'll assemble one. You know, it's a great idea because A, it's, it's a stretch, but it's kind of green because you're recycling yeah. something. And you don't do any engine modifications at all, correct? We don't. We're gonna, we'll have a big bore kit and a camshaft in the works, but yeah. they're, they're pretty bulletproof as they are. You're not a lot you need to do to them. I mean, they're great around town, good commuter bikes. Yeah, I mean, to me, that's the basic purest thing of it, for, you know, for $2,500, $3,000, you can convert it into, into this, which looks like, it looks like a modern new bike. Absolutely. What year is this one? This is a 2000, that's okay. a 2012. Okay, oh, that's a 2012. Yeah. 
Suzuki gave us that one. Oh, okay. So that's a, that's a new bike. So the factory gave you to convert it. Yeah, so. Suzuki's finally getting on board with us a little bit. I mean, they've helped us out a little bit, and they're seeing what we're doing. And uh, you know, we're excited to work together. It's nice to have dealers, local yeah. dealers involved. Also, they have bikes that use trade-ins or new bikes that yeah. maybe they aren't selling, and they convert them and sell them. Let's take a look at their shop. Here, we shot some video. This has been uh, my project, the bobber kit that we're gonna do for the same bike. It's a hardtail design, so you get rid of the rear suspension, short bobbed fender, solo seat. Usually it's a peanut gas tank or an old Sportster gas tank. You know, I, I, I choose the low bars, but that'll be a customer option whether you wanna use low or high bars. Fake oil tank to hide all the electronics and chain drive conversion. This entire kit with all the hardware and bracketry that you see here, we're gonna try and price under $2,000. This is a project that Casey's been working on. So Casey's designed the CS1 Cafe Racer. He's also gonna, de designing these Scrambler and these Street Tracker versions will be cross-gradable. So if you have a Cafe bike and you don't wanna buy a whole other bike, you can buy the parts you just need and you'll be able to cross-grade to the two-seat option or to the Street Tracker option. So the turnaround time's pretty short. Um, typically we can turn a kit around from two to four weeks. Build time is about, uh, you know, 40 hours of work. You can build this in your garage with hand tools. Well, we just saw the video of you guys putting it together. How long would it take the average uh, guy at home using his kind of craftsman tools from Sears? What would it cost him? How much time? Think about maybe 40 hours, depending on your skills. Oh, okay. Tools. Yeah, very cool. So that's not bad. So that's one of those good father and son or after school projects. And, uh, you know, I think it's just a great idea because I heard about these guys. I just happened to see a story in, in the Los Angeles Times. And I said, ah, we got to get them over here because that's what motorcycling should be about. Yeah, I mean, it's clean, it's lightweight. It's prob well, probably weighs about the same as stock, doesn't it? No, we take about 60 pounds off of it. So really? 380 stock, they're about 325 when we get done with them. Yeah. I mean, it's got a great feel to it. Yeah, they're fun. Sounds like a real bike. Time to go for a ride. Me, I put some bar and mirrors on it. There's no rear view mirrors on it, which makes it a little tricky with a full face helmet. But boy, it's you know, it's so lightweight and more than enough power. You know, it's comfortable. I don't feel like all my weight is on my shoulders. The bars are low, but not that low. And once you get over 50 miles an hour, the wind kind of holds you up. And for a single, it's pretty smooth. If this is a British single, I'd be looking at my watch and both hands would be lying at the bottom of the watch because it would have vibrated off. You know, in this economy, this is kind of the sort of clever American ingenuity at work here. You know, you take something and you, uh, and you do it at a bargain basement price and it's a lot of fun. This is a bike you can beat the heck out of all day long and uh, you're not really going to damage it. You know, you're using the stock brakes. And it looks cool, I think it's a great looking bike. You know, it's fun having a bike where you can use all the power all the time. I've got so many high performance bikes like that Aprilia V4 and that new uh, BMW 6. <laughs> you know, you really can't open that throttle all the way around town. So it's fun just be able to wind something like this out, drop down a gear. But for the price of like a new Vespa or one of those little scooters, it's 150 cc's, you can get yourself a real motorcycle. And at 70, you're turning a little, just about 4,000 RPM, not too bad, and very smooth. I have to say, I really like this thing, and I think the guys are very clever. What a, what a brilliant idea. Well, I got to say, this thing's a lot of fun. Nice job, you guys. Boy, that's a lot of fun. Yeah. You know, it's just fun to have a bike. You, you just run, just keep the throttle. I would put bar end mirrors on it. How do you, I don't know how you could drive without those bar end I have, mirrors. I have mirrors on mine. Yeah, um, I would put mirrors on it. But yeah. I got to say, for the investment, it's just a brilliant, brilliant idea. It's, uh, it's kind of what this website is about. We try to find people that have a good idea and they build stuff here in America. 
And uh, nice job, gentlemen. Thanks, Congratulations, Jeff. guys. Thanks, Check it out. Here's the website again.